Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make hidden folders on your Mac. Now hidden folders is one thing that Windows kind of leads the Mac platform in. Uh, it's very easy to work with hidden folders inside of Windows, uh, but inside of Mac OS X it's not something you can really work with by default. So in order to make a hidden folder we're actually going to have to move over to Terminal. And you can access Terminal by opening up a new Finder window, going into your Applications folder, and then from there, Utilities folder towards the bottom. And inside there, you'll find Terminal. And you can open that up. Now in Terminal, we're going to make a folder. So the way you make a folder in Terminal is you type in mkdir space and then the name of your folder. And it's going to, by default, create this folder inside of your home directory. If I just typed mkdir, which is make directory, and then any name, it would make a folder with that name. But in order to make it hidden, what I have to do is I have to put a period in front of the word. So we're going to call this period and then hidden. So now if we hit enter, it has made the folder. You don't see any type of indication that it's done, but it is, and then you can quit terminal. Now if we want to access this folder, I can open up my home directory here in a new finder window, and you can see there's no folder in here called hidden because obviously it's hidden. Uh, so what I can do to get to the hidden folder is hit Command Shift G, and from here it's going to make you type a path to the folder. So we're going to type in slash users, and then your username. So slash Michael Steber in this case, and then slash dot hidden. And now we're in the dot hidden folder, and nobody can get to this folder except us. So from here, let's say I want to put this other folder inside the hidden folder. It's in there now. Nobody can see it. I can close this window up. And if I go back into here, you, you can see there's no hidden folder. There's no other folder. You can't find it. You can see even if I search for the hidden folder, I can't find it because it is hidden. And I also won't be able to search for any folders within the hidden folder. Now, if I want to get back to this quickly, if I just hit Command Shift G again, it saved the last folder command, so I can go right to that. Now, I guess for added privacy, you could probably get rid of that every time, uh, but this is a quick way, and not a lot of people use that command, the go command, so you don't really have to worry about that, and then I can just go back to this folder. So now, with hidden folders, the only way you can access them is by going to the go command, or by using a tool to reveal hidden folders. And a tool that you can use to reveal hidden folders is called Secrets and it's a system preferences pane. And you can download this and you have a lot of different options. And I can go under Finder and you can see hidden folders will be in here if I just search for it here. Hidden. So I can show hidden files with an application like Secrets as well. Uh, but other than that, it's a very secure way to kind of hide stuff. It's not secure as in encryption, uh, but it is a way to keep your private folders hidden from others that you know you don't want to get in them. So there you go, that's how to make hidden folders inside Mac OS X. As always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.